After the side step, the man shifts weight to the right in place, while slightly turning the upper body to lead the woman to turn to the left. Next, the man steps a small step to the left while rotating the upper body. This rotation leads the woman into the media luna. When the woman reaches the third step of her media luna, which is the forward step of back, side, forward, the man taps his right foot slightly forward and twists his upper body using both feet as pivots. This movement leads the woman into the front ocho. For the man, allowing the woman to enter like a shell. It's the first thing for men before dancing and also the most important thing. Otherwise, any desire to control the partner will be displayed through your hands. The woman will feel the interference clearly. They didn't say anything just because they chose not to say. When the woman enters your embrace, your dance becomes her dance. The man's steps are simply a matter of turning his upper body, at most understanding the circle. In the media luna, the man is the center of the circle, and in the front ocho, the center is between the two. Attentive to each other in every moment, when the woman enters your embrace, her body becomes like your part. We tried two variations of the media luna, where the woman turns to the man's left. The most significant difference for the man is the first step of the media luna, which is her back step. The man begins with his right foot or left foot, respectively, entering the media luna from parallel system or the cross system. For the woman, the structure of the steps is the same, back, side, and forward. The only difference is how the man changes his posture. Remember that the woman's movements are born out of the embrace, and the movements are just the result of the lower body. In the other direction of the media luna, the man starts with a step similar to the first half of the back ocho and the woman backs to the man's right side. The man steps forward with his right foot while rotating his upper body to the right, leading the woman into the media luna. When the woman reaches the forward step of back, side, forward, the man steps onto his left foot and faces to the woman. As the man's weight is behind the woman, this movement itself helps the woman to turn. The dance sequence ends similarly to the latter half of the front ocho. This media luna turning to the right is not centered around the man, but around each other on the circular path, rotate around as if chasing each other. When the man steps forward with his right foot and rotates his upper body, the energy from the turn is already enough for the woman to complete the full media luna in three steps. Therefore, when the man steps on his left foot to shift his weight, it is simply like following the woman's turn. In simple terms, the man sends the woman into the turn with his right foot and catches up with the turn with his left foot. If the woman incorporates more of her own energy and movements into interpreting the media luna, the stronger turning energy may even come back to the man, making it seem like the man is being led by the woman. In tango, many turning movements are like the transfer of energy between partners. The woman, or follower, is not always just listening. In the dance, while the man leads and accompanies, the woman listens and tells. That's why we need to fill our movements with energy, using our whole body to express our feelings. Something told by the woman's body also guides the man. And this telling can also help the man better accompany the woman's movements. And even her movements themselves can lead the man.
However, the woman doesn't need to think about these things while dancing. Just fully express your own movements and let the man hear your body. Tango has a unique beauty because all of the dance steps are done for each other. The most beautiful dance steps are because you can hear each other's bodies. Even other people can never see what you both hear from each other. Thank you.